Hello guys, how you doing? This is su amigo Alex and today I'm going to show you how to move your WhatsApp from Android to iPhone but on this iPhone I already have a WhatsApp account that I don't want to lose. So how can we move this one here without losing the other one? I'm going to show you on this video. First we need to identify both accounts, right? So we're going to open this one, but especially this chat. I have a lot of stuff, right? Emojis, memojis, pictures, videos, file types, uh, accounts, all kind of stuff. So we need to be able to see all of this here on the iPhone. Let's go here to the account. You're going to click on your name and here you're going to see the phone number 754-308-4407. So that's my WhatsApp account on the Android. And now let's check the WhatsApp account on the iPhone. Open WhatsApp. Then you're going to click the name and this is the number. 954-529-4574. Now that we know the different account numbers, just for you to know guys, this is a Samsung Galaxy A52 running Android 14, One UI version 6.1, security patch from November 1st, 2024. All right, and here I have an old iPhone. This is the iPhone 6 Plus. And this iPhone, it's running iOS 12.4.1. So our goal is to transfer this WhatsApp account onto this iPhone without losing this one. So how can we do that? We already identified the numbers. What I always recommend my users is to make sure you are running the latest OS available to your device. Let's start on the iPhone. On the iPhone, you're gonna open WhatsApp and you're gonna do a chat backup. You're gonna go to settings, go to chats, chat backup. And this is what is important, right? Including videos, auto backup daily, and you're gonna back it up now. I only have 2.6 megabytes, all right? But let me back it up right now. By doing this backup, I'm gonna have a backup on iCloud link to that phone number. So every time I try to restore using that number on iPhone, I should get this backup on my iCloud and it's done, okay? So I already have a backup link to 954-529-4574 on iCloud. Now that I have that backup, I can just restore my iPhone. Why should I delete my iPhone and factory reset it? Because that's the only way we can use the Move to iOS app on the Android to transfer WhatsApp. So let me download that from the Play Store. Move to iOS. Move to iOS. We're going to download this. And in the meantime, if you want to save whatever you have on your iPhone, do an iCloud backup. And then you're going to factory reset it. How? You're going to go to Settings, General, Reset and you're gonna click erase all content and settings. If you click here, you're gonna delete everything that is on the iPhone. But if you have an iCloud backup, you should be okay. Documents and data are being uploaded to iCloud. I'm gonna click finish uploading, then erase. All right, erase iPhone, erase iPhone. It's asking me for my passcode and it's gonna delete it. When we see the white line, yeah, that's it. Okay, so now on the Android, I already download the Move to iOS app. I'm gonna open it, agree, and let's see here. It's easy to switch from Android to iOS. Continue, terms and conditions, agree. Share app usage. I don't wanna allow app location permissions. This you need to allow. So go here and make sure you have location on. Go back to the app and then you're gonna click continue. Allow Move to iOS to access this device location while using the app. Turn on notifications. Allowed. Connect via cable. Use a cable to connect this device to your iOS device to get started. You also have the option to do it with Wi-Fi. I want to do it with a cable though. In my case, I'm going to need a cable that will go from USB-C to Lightning. If you have an iPhone that is using USB-C, then you will have to use a cable USB-C to USB-C. All right. The iPhone is factory restoring. Okay. Wait for the iPhone to be ready. It's also a good idea to identify your WhatsApp account. So for example, WhatsApp phone number on Android is this one. Google account used to back up WhatsApp chats on Google Drive. All right, so let's see that. You're gonna leave it like that. Open WhatsApp, uh, click here, settings. And when you click chats and chat backup, you're gonna see the email we are using. We're using suamigoalex2 at gmail.com. So we can put it here. suamigoalex2 at gmail.com is the Google account we're using to back up the WhatsApp chats on Android, on Google Drive, okay? I forgot to show you, but what we use on the iPhone to do the backup was this number 
and the iCloud account was su amigo alex5 at gmail so we use a different gmail account but this gmail account is actually an apple account the iphone is factory reset it is ready to be set up we're gonna open the move to ios app and we stay here at connect via cable right we're gonna set up this really quick until we find that screen that we need the apps and data united states set up manually log into your wi-fi the iphone is being activated data and privacy touch id later passcode don't use don't use and this is the screen that we need apps and data and here there's an option move data from android so you're going to click that one move from ios continue and this is the code that we need to input here but before that we're going to use the cable to connect both devices first the android and then the iphone make sure both devices are fully charged okay look at this choose an app for the usb device so we're just going to click continue connect via cable continue and this is the code that we need to enter 715429 it says connecting connect to device connect it says connecting connected move from android it says preparing all right so what we're going to do is we're going to transfer contacts allowed we're going to transfer the google account we're going to transfer oh but look at this it's not showing me what's up it's not showing me what's up and the reason it's not showing me what's up i think is because this ios it's too old to transfer what's up so what i'm going to do is i'm going to switch to another iphone with a higher ios and hopefully i'm going to see what's up here all right now i understand you guys it's really disappointing when you don't see what's up here what i'm going to do is i'm going to cancel this right you're going to close the app that should be canceled I close everything here and I'm going to click start over and I will set up this account later. But now what I need is a new iPhone with a higher iOS. So I have this iPhone SE iOS 15.8.3. So this is a higher iOS. What I'm going to do is I'm going to sign in with the same iCloud account that I use on my old iPhone, which is Swamigo Alex 5. So Swamigo Alex 5. And this is the thing, when I set up the WhatsApp on the old iPhone, I did a backup on the iCloud, all right? So I can restore that WhatsApp account here. The other thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move the SIM card from the old iPhone to the new iPhone, just in case I need to verify WhatsApp. That's why it's important, guys, to put notes here so you know what you're doing. You put it here, I'm gonna have Mint. And if you go actually here to Phone, you will see the phone number 954-529-4574 which is the same number that we used to have before so now that i have this what i'm going to do is i'm going to restore this iphone factory restore it so you're going to go to transfer erase all contents and settings erase this iphone it's uploading data to icloud just let it finish to delete an iphone you're going to have to put your password you know so erase iphone and now it's erasing, it's factory resetting the iPhone so we can do the move to iOS process. Move to iOS, agree, continue, agree, don't send. And now it's asking for the connection again. Hopefully this time it's gonna work. Before we couldn't see the WhatsApp uh, option, right? What a lot of people are telling me in the comments. I don't see the WhatsApp option probably because you're using a really old ios but this one is 15 you know hopefully it's gonna work okay guys so finally the iphone is factory resetted so now we can configure it that screen that we need united states set up manually log into your wi-fi okay i'm connected now next so how you doing guys this is su amigo alex please don't forget to subscribe to my channel guys okay date and privacy continue set up later don't use don't use passcode don't use and this is the screen we need apps and data and here we're going to select move data from android move from android continue and this is the code that we need to put here but before that we're gonna join both devices with the cable usb-c to lighting okay let's see what happened this one i'm not gonna select anything i'm just gonna skip it and gonna click continue okay connect via code continue this is the code 275993 and hopefully this time you're going to be able to select whatsapp connect to device connect now it's connecting connected preparing 
and look at this guys now we have this whatsapp we didn't have it before because we were using ios 12 so i guess this works from ios 15 and up i'm gonna select context google account i'm not gonna select apps because i just need whatsapp and i'm gonna select whatsapp and here it says move chats to ios transfer your chats and media history to your new iphone you will not be able to transfer later if you skip this step all right click start almost done next so i have everything my whatsapp is 40 items 51 megabytes and click uh, continue now it's transferring keep this device turned on and connected to power until the transfer is completed now it's moving here 5 to 40 items 38 percent one minute remaining i know guys in your case it's going to take longer because you're going to have gigs of data but since this is a tutorial i need to work with smaller files all right so it's completed transfer completed all right contacts ada google account two items whatsapp 40 items transfer complete i'm going to click done so now whatsapp if i try to open it it's going to be closed okay because we already transferred to here let's continue here continue setting up iphone i need to sign into my account so i'm you alex5 next my password it may take a few minutes to set up terms and conditions agree make this your new iphone continue siri later okay so now we are downloading all the apps and this is whatsapp guys so click there download require viewing app store whatsapp messenger download it guys download it so this is the thing this is going to take a while depending on how much data you have but the problem i have here is that all this stuff is downloading so i'm gonna pause some of the stuff right uh pause and i'm gonna click here and i'm gonna prioritize download so whatsapp is done open it agree and continue right now really important right the number we use on the android is this one and we are moving whatsapp from the android to the iphone so we need to put this number not the SIM card number that I have here. So we're gonna put that number and we might get a code on this phone. And I'm gonna put that number, 754-308-4407. It's gonna probably ask me to confirm, is this number correct? Double check guys, always double check, yes. Sending code. Okay, so this is the thing, it says verify your phone number on your other WhatsApp, but this WhatsApp, it's off. So if you want me to do that like that, I can. I can just click agree and continue, but then it's gonna open WhatsApp here. I think that's what they want us to do. Agree and continue. The phone number is 754-308-4407. What I'm doing is I'm putting my WhatsApp back to the Android to get this code. It says verify. And it's supposed to give me a code because here it says use your other phone to confirm moving to WhatsApp to this one, okay? It looks like it's not happening like that. It didn't happen like that. But what I can do is I can click need help getting a code. I'm gonna click retry on other device. And it's showing Samsung Galaxy A52 5G. So now we should see a code here. Continue. That's the code that we needed. 194-006. And now we have the move chat from Android. This is what we wanted, guys. Start. Permissions needed, start, allow access to all photos. Now it's importing the chats. Chat history, move to iPhone, next. WhatsApp would like to access your contacts, okay. I'm gonna put Alex, and hopefully I'm gonna get all my contacts and chats. And yeah, we got everything. And a proof to that is, do you remember this chat that I showed you before on the Android? With a lot of pictures, emojis, memojis, audio files, all kind of files, pictures, videos, everything got transferred, guys. Everything got transferred. Let's play a video just to confirm. Yeah, so it's, it's working perfectly. Okay, guys, so the first step to move WhatsApp from Android to iPhone, it worked, right? And just to confirm, we're gonna click here, and this is the number that used to be on WhatsApp Android, the 754. Now, what happened with the number that I used to have here on the iPhone, all right? Very simple, guys. Since we already did a backup on iCloud, that backup is linked to that number. So if I install WhatsApp Business, and I put that number, it should give me my backup. Open, 
Very important, guys. Welcome to WhatsApp Business. Agree and continue. A WhatsApp Business would like to send you notifications allowed. I'm not going to select that phone number because that phone number is already being used by regular WhatsApp. So if I select this number, I will screw it up because I will lose the other WhatsApp. So what I need to do is I need to use a different number. What number we're going to use here? We're going to use this 954. So 954 529 4574. Next. Hopefully, WhatsApp Business is going to recognize that there is a backup under that number. All right. Make sure it's the right number. Continue. And hopefully, it's going to find out the backup and it's going to restore it from the regular WhatsApp. I'm going to click Need Help Getting a Code. I'm going to ask for a voice call. Hopefully, I will get it. Continue. This should be a phone call. That's it. This is WhatsApp, guys. Oh, here. Don't make that mistake, guys. Oh, I messed it up. Another mistake that you should not commit, guys, because I press seven here instead of on the phone call. And now we can see Mint finally here. You know, this one took a while. That's why it got me confused. I'm going to click didn't receive a verification code. Uh, email in 15 seconds, SMS in an hour and a phone call in 30 minutes. So that's the problem, guys. When you make a mistake, you have to wait. I'm going to try an email, but that's good though, because now we're going to try an email. Select email. This is Amigo Alex 5 and continue. It's sending a code to my email, so I can just log into my email. Okay, that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to go to Gmail. What's up business? What's up verification code? 787-843. 787-843. It's validating the code. Restore your chat history from iCloud. You will not be able to restore later if you decline to restore now. So I'm going to restore chat history. For our security, verify your phone. But now that I'm sure that I have Mint, I should get the text. So, oh, so they already sent the six digit code to SMS, but I didn't get it. Why I didn't get it? Because I'm not set it up, you know? So you need to make sure you set up everything, guys. Oh, I think I got it right there. It took a while, but I got it. Yeah, right there. Your WhatsApp business code is 438218. So go back to WhatsApp. WhatsApp business would like to access your contacts. Okay. And then you can just click here and it's going to paste the verification code I just got on the text. And now it's doing the restoring. So there's kind of a two-factor authentication because first they send me a text on the email and then they send me another text on the phone number as a text message, you know? It says 82 message restore. Click next. I hope it saved my avatar. Yeah, it did. I'm going to put Alex Onega, whatever. I need to select this. I'm going to put a uh, order business and next. And hopefully I'm going to have all my chats. Welcome to WhatsApp business. And I just want to go to chats and I have all my chats, all the chats that I used to have on this old iPhone. Now I have it on this iPhone. If I want to double check the number, this is the number, right? Look, 954-529-4574, which is the WhatsApp that I used to have on the other iPhone. That's how you move one WhatsApp account from an Android to the iPhone. And if you already have a WhatsApp account on the iPhone that you don't want to get rid of, you pretty much move it to WhatsApp business, okay? So now you have one WhatsApp, regular WhatsApp, with this phone number, 754-304-4407, with all the chats, and you also have a WhatsApp business with all the chats. Let me double check here, guys. Phone number 954-529-4574. This is the number that used to be on my older iPhone, but now I have it. I didn't lose absolutely nothing, guys. It was a success with a lot of mistakes, but a success. Probably I will do a better video in the future, but I think you got the idea, guys. Please let me know in the comments if you want me to do the opposite. What happened if I want to move from iPhone to Android and I have a WhatsApp number on the Android and I don't want to lose it, you know? So maybe I can do the opposite in the new video, but chances are I'm gonna do another video exactly as I did today because it was a little bit uh, complicated, you know? But yeah, success, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you like it. Please don't forget to subscribe. That's the best way you can support me. And I'll see you on my next video. Take care, guys. Bye.